You're listening to Fifth Grade and the Cosmic Explosion of Knowledge. Amazing information and facts that will make your brain explode. Endangered species are species that are threatened to become extinct. They are at risk for many reasons, including loss of habitat, illegal poaching, and deprivation of food. But why should we protect them from these things? How does this affect us? The following are three out of many reasons why we should protect them. One reason to protect endangered species is that they are part of our ecosystem that they want to keep healthy. If these species aren't there to assist the ecosystem, it may fall apart. But why are these ecosystems important? Forests, oceans, grasslands, and mountains are examples of important ecosystems. Without them, we will not have fresh air to breathe, clean water to drink, or good food to eat. If we don't protect these species, we'll not only be hurting the earth, we will also be hurting ourselves, too. Another reason why we should preserve threatened species is because a large percentage of our medicines come from natural sources. Out of the 150 most prescribed medicine, more than 50% are originally from natural resources, according to the Endangered Species Coalition. If endangered species become extinct, we'll run out of these medicines. Or worse, they could become extinct before we discover them, sending possible cures to life-threatening diseases in the future down the journey. We should also protect them because we should respect that they live on the same planet we do and deserve to live as much as we do. They protect environments, provide us with everything we need just by living their normal lives, and they do not deserve to be exterminated. We should protect endangered species for lots of reasons, for ourselves, for the environment, and for Earth. They attract tourists and therefore provide money for the economy, provide medicines, and keep Earth in good shape. Today we are going to talk about rock and roll and country music, how they are different and similar in many ways. Differences. Rock and roll has a strong beat. This is because rock and roll uses instruments that have strong beats. It is mostly played loud. This is because they mostly use electric instruments. Another fact is country mu- music can be called western music. Similarities. Both tell a story. Country typically tells more songs that have a story, though. They both use a guitar as their main instrument. Rock and roll uses an electric guitar in country candy. Rock and roll and country both entertain. Thank you for listening to how rock and roll and country music are different and similar. Space and the bottom of the ocean are very different, but similar in some ways. Space has its huge facts and the bottom of the ocean has some great facts. My essay describes differences and similarities of space and the bottom of the ocean. One difference is that we know more about space than the bottom of the ocean. We have put robots on Mars and much more for humans to walk on the land of space. The ocean breaks robots so it's harder to explore the bottom of the ocean. Another difference is we have explored more of space than the ocean. We had people walk on the moon and have flats on the moon. The ocean, we've only explored about 5% of the ocean and most of the unexplored is the bottom of the ocean. One similarity is that we know little about space in the bottom of the ocean. We barely have explored space because it's billions of light years long and there is little we can explore. The bottom of the ocean is hard to explore because we don't have enough oxygen to explore the entire bottom of the ocean and it's also huge. Another similarity is that it takes a long time to just see a little of space or the bottom of the ocean. We have to make technology and it takes so many years just to see a little of space or the bottom of the ocean. Once we get the right technology, we'll be able to see all of space in the bottom of the ocean. My essay was about how space in the bottom of the ocean were different and alike. They both have great facts and can be really hard to find those facts. Space in the bottom of the ocean are pretty similar but also different. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Like this podcast. And we'll give you a round of applause.